friends, MD Vegan. I make endives again, a nice green salad. Really nice, I mean, endives are a little bit firm, the leaves. That means they're durable, they keep in the fridge longer than other um, leafy greens. I cut them always in these stripes. You know, just wash the leaves, dry them in a spinner, staple them and then cut them into straps. Easy. But before I combine the main ingredients, I make the dressing. And the dressing is also very special today. And um, it's a new combination of sp spices. Uh, I tried before. They have an amazing flavor. A little bit exotic, you know, like um, Mexican or Asian. And you will see in a moment what I'm talking about here. Look at the colors. Red, almost these brown, reddish colors, all the same color family. It's a very important, I guess, for flavor also and for nutrients. This is pink peppercorn, this is coriander, and this is mustard seeds. Usually when you get mustard seeds, you will have the yellow mustard seeds. But don't be confused, you can take the brown as well. There's almost no difference. I just like the brown a little bit better. They are a little bit more expensive, but I mean, it is not a big deal. You can take any kind of mustard seeds. So, mustard seeds, coriander, and pink peppercorn. All three very special. I just put a little bit salt to it. I noticed not too much salt here because this flavor um, arrangement is really impressive. It doesn't need that much salt. You see, I have a lot of spices here. It's a pretty, pretty nice um, amount, a fair amount. And I'm going to just blend it together with a handful of cashews. See, that is the cream then. I make a cream. And the cashew flavor is pretty, um, pretty neutral, neutral. That means um, not complex as macadamia, for example. That will be uh, a different... Uh, underground yeah when I make a painting I put the colors on the on the canvas and the canvas has a color already I have a totally different situation it's easier to begin maybe with cashews because they are so neutral so I just have the cashews and my spices and a little bit of water I don't blend right away and I can always add a little bit of water later um, that's all the texture I'll see that later <laughs> vegetables or some nuts even yeah that is also that's a little bit more special but um, then I use the spices like pepper and salt yeah, or chili pepper but here with this a whole different flavor world comes opens up really the coriander is very special um, it's more Mexica I said that before but the red pepper the pink peppercorn I mean is not usually used, yeah. You usually use the black pepper and then you, you go. You use a white pepper, it's very different. It is very nice, of course. So for example, with a cucumber salad, with the dill together, they can get into the, the white pepper story. Um, you always can take black, black, that's okay. But if you want to have it a little bit refined, fitting to the cucumber especially, I would take maybe the white pepper instead of the black, for example. But usually, I take the, the simple, simple things in here. I have not only one ingredient changed, one of the spices, but three. I have a pink pepper, very special. I have the coriander and the mustard seed. So I have a very nice combination. Let's see it taste it. Mm. It's a very intense flavor. Really very nice. You have to try. And they have to be in a honey. Make a little bit more peppercorn, make a little bit more mustard seed, it gets hotter, a little bit more bite. This is very earth-like earth flavor, very um, low, warm, warming energy. I'm not not like like chili pepper biting or so. No, that's not. It's different. Not even like 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 um, ginger, 
which is hot, but more overall hot, not like chili pepper in the one direction, biting. No, it's really earth. It's really earth, warm, but still pushing forward with the energy. It's not a low energy, it's a high energy, but very warm and harmony. Very nice. I mean, I can't explain so much now. I will wait for a while, let it sit, and maybe I have to blend again, because the cashews now have time to soak a little bit. They have not been soaked before. So let's see what happens. First, I know my main ingredients. I showed you already the endives, and that is also a very strong flavor. It's a bitter salad, yeah? but also with a little bit of sweetness in there. It's not just bitter. If you eat a, a, a lettuce, a leaf of the endives, you find that it's a sweetness. It's a very nice flavor combination. It's a balance, but it's still a little bitter. Many greens are, um, but for that, I put a little bit of corn in there that is sweet, very earth-like also, earthen flavor. I guess that fits very nice with my main ingredients here, the dressing. So I put the corn on top of the mus uh, of the endives, and now the sweet of the corn is uh, balancing the slightly bitter sweet flavor of the endives for the first. And now, in the end, I put a, a carrot on top. I will combine with the carrot, but as the endives have these stripes, I use another texture for the carrots too. I take, as usual, uh, I take just stripes or maybe spaghetti. Yeah, I have this nice um, vegetable, uh, this um, um, spiralizer here. You see two sides, hand spiralizer. This is the big blades, and this is for the smaller, for the thinner stripes, spirals, and I can you hold it in my hand and just put the ingredient I want to spiralize in top here and turn it around. It's so easy to get here um, the desired result. It's so nice to have it on traveling <coughs> when you have a many, many little equipment only, very light for traveling. You can quickly whip up your own salad and spiralize a little bit of carrot or chicken to make some really nice dishes you will not be able to get in many stores and you know, you go to a restaurant. It's easy to make your own food even better than in a restaurant with some easy tricks. Um, for some things I would go into restaurants. Of course I like restaurants too, especially with friends or so. It's very nice or on occasion like a birthday or so and a celebration that is of course very nice when the chef comes and just does everything for you with your own. But only, but only in occasions. Usually I, I, I eat on my own because I think I can make um, so many different dishes, so many use so many different vegetables and fruits and nuts and seeds. Most of the stores won't have that, restaurants won't have that. And I can make every time, every day, something different. Which restaurant would do that? So I'm a big fan from home cooking. See, I have just some um, um, carrot stripes. I cut it crosswise to make it bite size. It's not, big, not important, but I like it a little bit easier to eat, and now I have my combination. You see that beautiful yellow, orange, green, beautiful combination. The texture also very nice and fitting. And now I go again. I go to my dressing. And I see if it's still a nice texture. Yes, a nice texture. I show you. I uh, show you in a moment. Pour it now. Toss my salad. You see, just to show you the dressing. It's a nice cream, and it has to be runny here because of the endives. They are still lettuce. That means they shouldn't be a drowned, drowning in, in, in the salad dressing. Uh, could I have a little bit more, but this is perfect for my, for my desire here, you see. It's a nice quantity. And now I have two parts again. I have the main ingredients, I have the dressing, and the third part is the... I have here some peanuts, you know, some wild peanuts. They're my favorite peanuts. You can take every peanut but the wild ones I prefer a little bit, and if you find them, you're lucky too. Okay, um, it's my salad today. Ah, uh, great, you're looking forward. Salad, eating salad, especially green salad, is like having a deep breath for all of the body. Very nice, yeah, very nice. Feels very good. Um, and uh, I like to eat pretty much every day something nice and green. That's pretty cool. Okay, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed and if you like, thumbs up, if you like even more, subscribe and be vegan on YouTube, have another recipe every single day and find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter.